Hi everyone! In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create and sell Google Sheets templates online. There are actually multiple platforms that allows you to sell some digital files and one of them is Etsy and that is the platform that we're going to use today. So some digital files that you can sell include, let's say, some workout plan, meal plan, etc. For me, I have this travel plan over here and let's say that I would like to sell it. The first thing that I'm going to do is that I want to make sure that I save this, this specific files in a safe place. So let's say that I want to put it in my Google Drive. I would want to make sure that I will not somehow accidentally remove it or delete it. So what you're going to do is that you will want to save this in, let's say, a secluded folder and make sure that it is not the kind of folder that can accidentally be deleted. For me, you can see that I have several folder and I already created one that says Etsy and then another folder inside of it is Travel Planner. It's just my kind of trick because I know that I am quite clumsy and I sometimes would delete stuff accidentally and I don't want that. So that's what I did. I ended up creating multiple folder and then put my digital files in that folder. You obviously would want to save your file online because you're going to work with the link and I'm going to show you how in a minute. And here I'm also going to change the access to anyone with the link because this is actually is going to be an editable link. So what I did is that I'm changing the role of anyone that has this link into editor instead of just as a viewer. But if you're not selling anything that is adjustable, if it's not something that anyone can edit, you can go ahead and use the role just as the viewer instead. Let's say that you are selling a meal plan that only have columns and tables on it. It doesn't necessarily have anything to change. You can just go ahead and change the role of anyone that have the link as viewer instead of editor. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to copy this link. And then you're going to want to open up a new tab on your browser and paste the link over there. You can see at the very end of the link, you will see there is edit and sharing text and we will want to change it into copy instead. So what it does is that when someone are opening this link, they will have to create a copy of their own instead of them altering the original file. Because we don't want several people to work on one file, we want them to have individual separated file that they can alter to their heart content. So make sure to pay attention to that area. Make sure to change the very end of your link first before you are going to put it into a file where you're going to share or before you're going to share it directly. Once we're done altering the link, what we're going to do is we're going to go to Canva. And over here, you can see that I've already created some pictures that I'm going to use as my thumbnails on Etsy's. I've created this page right here that says travel plan and it also have a Google spreadsheet templates text on it to make sure that people know that these templates are only going to be useful in Google spreadsheet. They will not be able to open it in, let's say, Microsoft Excel, or they might, but the design and the templates might change a little bit. So I make sure to highlight the Google spreadsheets wording so that people know that this is specifically for Google spreadsheets. I also created a picture that shows that these templates can be used everywhere. They can open it with whatever device that they have, as long as they have the Google Spreadsheets. And actually, you can add the Google Spreadsheets symbol if you would like to make it even clearer, but it's going to need you to have the premium account for Canva, and I only have the free account, so this is just as good for me for now. And what I'm going to do is that I'm going to save these pictures and I'm going to upload it in Etsy's later. The next thing you're going to do is you would want to create this kind of design. This is actually just a page that says thank you for your purchase. And I also say that if they want to access as well as edit the template, they can click on the map. Obviously, you can just create some button or some wordings. But I think that these map symbols are going to be pretty cute because 
um, it's a travel planner. So yeah, I add up some instructions on what they could do. So they will have to make a copy of the templates instead of altering directly. And then what I'm going to do is that I'm going to link this specific map into the link that we've already created earlier. Because on Etsy, they will not allow you to upload just a link. You will have to have some digital files. So what you're going to do is you're going to download this file as PDF. You can choose whether it's PDF standard or PDF print. Either way, it works just fine. So you want to download it as PDF so that the button that we have already created, which is the map, for me is going to be clickable and people will be able to access the template. And this is the thing that I always do. I will always try to test out my PDF before I upload it to Etsy. So here I already downloaded the PDF and I would like to click on the map. And as you can see, it brings me back to the link that was shown earlier. Next, we're going to go to Etsy and sign in or sign up. If you don't have an account, you can go ahead and create one. It's very easy. I've already had mine. So this is what it looks like. The first thing that they're going to ask you to do when you just create your listing is they're going to ask you for some pictures. And this is where I inserted the pictures that I've created on Canva that I've shown you earlier. So I'm just going to choose based on the importance of each pictures. I would want the first one to be the first page on Canva and then the other one are just going to follow that step. And you can also adjust the thumbnail, but I'm good with mine. You can also add some videos if you'd like. If you upload, let's say, some templates that are quite complicated, I suggest you to create a video to explain it just so it's going to make it easier for your customer. Next, you're going to want to change the type of your file from physical to digital because only then this digital file sections are going to appear. But as you can see, there is another adjustment that we will have to make, which is we will have to change the time when we make the stuff. If you click uh, made to order or if you click the not yet made, it's not going to allow you to upload any file. So I'm just going to go ahead and choose the year where I've created, which is this year. And then we can go back to the digital file sections and you're going to see the upload file button. And then over there, what we're going to do is that we're going to upload the PDF that we have created before the one with the map button. And this is actually the file that your customer are going to download once they purchase from you. Pay attention to the way you name your file because they actually have a rules for that and I forgot to change mine. So I'm just going to go ahead and change it. Make sure that there is no symbol and only then the file are going to be acceptable. And that is it. That's how you can create and sell Google Sheets templates on Canva or online in general. I hope this tutorial is helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.